Ahoy, hoy, it's your boy, Attack's Log, and welcome back to another edition of You Should Be Playing, where I talk to you about games that I think you should be playing. Ignore the lady talking right now, and listen to me. I'm telling you, this is Mr. Mosquito for the PS2, a 2002 release from IDOS on their Fresh Games label. Uh, they had this, they had Mad Maestro, they had R-Type Final, and something else. It was a weird time. Uh, for Eidos, and they brought over this game called Mr. Mosquito, which you play as a mosquito, and I'm gonna jump cut as soon as she is done talking, so be right back. Alright, we're back. That lady talks for like five minutes explaining the backstory behind this game where you are, I am, a mosquito. In fact, you are Mr. Mosquito. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and certainly one of my favorite games on the PS2. It is so quirky, it is so weird, uh, it was made by a company called Zoom Incorporated, and I don't know why they decided to bring it over in English. Uh, there was a sequel that we never got in English, and honestly I haven't actually played. Uh, I really should import that sequel at some point, I don't know why I haven't, uh, I'm sure it's pretty cheap by now. Or maybe, it's, maybe, maybe it's rare, I don't know. Uh, but that's actually a note. I'm going to track that down and find that sequel. But right now, we're playing the original that was put out in English. It is Mr. Mosquito. We are Mosquito. I do have a save file here that I'm going to load up in a second. But first of all, I will show you the basics of how this game works and why you should be playing it. Because quite frankly, it is weird. And it is awesome. And I don't know how else to really describe it besides those two words. Weird and awesome. So it's got this plot, and basically you need to suck enough blood throughout the summer to make it through the winter. And once you do that, it, honestly, it turns into like a New Game Plus deal where you're playing it again and the stages are harder. But instead of just jumping into the harder stages right away, I'm going to show you how the easier stages work when the game is still teaching you how to play the game. And here we see the Yamadas, uh, who all kind of have a racist accent. It's all kind of like caricatured uh, stereotypes. And if that offends you, then perhaps this isn't the game for you, but it is charming on a certain level. Uh, but then again, I'm also not Asian, so maybe it's really offensive. I don't know. Uh, but this was 2002, so, you know, times were different for video games. And you could put someone with a very thick accent speaking English and maybe not have it be racist? I don't know. Anyhow... You're a mosquito, and it is your job to suck blood, and as soon as this cutscene ends... Actually, I, I, I could probably skip it. Yeah, alright. So, skipping that cutscene, there are a couple of those, or, well, there are a bunch of those in here, and some of them are actually pretty funny. Uh, as the family gets angrier and angrier, the more you succeed in sucking their blood and making them itch more and more and more. But, I kind of miss the fact that companies would take chances on games like this, because... Not, this isn't, this is, it's not the kind of game you would expect to see make it outside of Japan. And at the time, this was like pre-Earth Defense Force and, and that kind of stuff, the scale in this game was actually, for a PS2 game of 2002, the scale was super impressive. So, we are this tiny little mosquito, and yeah, sure, the geometry is pretty simple. So we gotta suck two tanks of blood. And there is one EX tank in this room somewhere. So here we are, we are the mosquito. Uh, it is your basic flight controls. Uh, we can fly around. There are points in the stage we can hit, like right there, is the radio. We can turn the lights out. Uh, but I want to see if I can't find this EX tank first. I think it's under, the, under, her, uh, under her table now. Yep. Now if... I think that's it. Is it a heart? No, it's just a heart. All right. So you can increase your, obviously, your max life and everything else. And so there, there are things to collect in the room. It's mostly the, the, these hearts, and there's an EX tank. Now, how, how it works with the blood-sucking stuff is that she will repeat a bunch of different animations, right? So she will have a routine where she turns, you know, she rolls over, she's bored, whatever else, and she'll keep repeating that. So there are different uh, different times that you will have the ability. It's not like you can just get her anywhere. There are certain spots that must be be hit. 
and I'm not having a lot of luck finding this this EX tank. So we're just gonna, unless it's on, on top of this AC unit. No, it's just that's just more hearts. Just more hearts. All right, we're we're gonna ignore that for now because obviously I have finished this stage before, like years ago. So we're not gonna. Um, we'll try turning the lights out and see how that goes. All right, so light switch. We're gonna hit circle. Lights are out. And she gets agitated at that, and it's hard to see because, you know, we're not a cat, we don't have night vision. Now, if they catch you, uh, there are combat scenarios where you have to relax them by hitting certain points on their body. And as the game goes on, that gets more and more difficult. So we're going to just kind of buzz her right here and... The point here should be on the top of her leg, if I recall correctly. Yep, there it is. Alright, so we're going to zoom in, hit her, we're going to click R3, and then we're going to rotate the right stick. And we're going to keep our circle there on the left in that blue area. And keeping it in there will keep her from noticing that we are sucking out her blood. Now, you can see there she has her heart rate, and she can get agitated uh, if you start fucking it up. So it's very important to keep it in the blue zone, and the later you go in the game, the more difficult that gets. It's going to move around, it's going to get tinier, whatever else. You can see here, it went to get from green to yellow. She's getting a bit agitated. We, we, we should make it here. Just go, 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 and release. Alright. And then it kind of plays some porno music, and yeah, the, the game has a very suggestive sense of humor. And then we totally got her blood, and she's gonna freak out. What? What? So when you get her in the second playthrough, she's like, not again! So yeah, there's different stuff in that second playthrough. Actually, I had not finished. Uh, the game got, like, it gets really hard after a certain point. Uh, so I might actually at some point go back and try to finish that second playthrough. So, what we're gonna do here, uh, you've seen the basics. Um, this is the Yamada storeroom. We'll do one more basic stage here, just because uh, I'll, show, I'll show you something, you know, a, l a little bit different, and then I will load up my save file. I'm going to skip this cutscene. Load up my save file, and then show you uh, as far as I actually got in this game after something like 13 hours of playtime. Which, I, to be fair, I enjoyed, uh, but that second playthrough gets rough in terms of trying to finish off your opponent's the, the Yamadas. So here we are in the kitchen with the mom. And she's doing her thing. Stage two. Like out for the poison. So they eventually will start laying down. Whoop. I was spotted. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um, they will eventually start laying down traps for you. And they will lay down. Uh. Oh. Mosquito coils and that kind of thing. I, good old days. I don't remember where her where her uh, points were for blood. Whoa, chill, lady, chill. So we're keeping an eye out here for where the points are to get the blood. I don't know if it's on her legs or her arms. Or her neck. There, alright, so it's her life. Here we go. So I, th I think she felt that. But. Oh, okay, be careful. So if they just swat you, that's it. Game over. Like, you're dead. You're done. So it is very important to pay attention to the audio cues, which obviously I, I can't do, I can't hear that well as I'm playing. Uh. Pay attention to the visual cues, pay attention to the heart rate stuff, and not get yourself smashed. Uh, she's getting a bit agitated here, so we're going to actually back off. Let her calm down a bit. So really, getting up high is a good place to be, because when you're up high, then it's harder for them to spot you, because you're not... You're not in their line of sight. Now, 
As you get farther, they will have multiple points to get blood from, and some are more dangerous than others. But they will keep re re repeating their routine in what they do, and uh, that is the crux of the game, is that you got to know where in their routine they are going to do their thing, and where in their routine that that's going to appear, and then you can focus in on it. And bite them. <laughs> and you, ooh! So we're gonna get our two tanks here. Try not to get smashed and get the fuck out! Remember, always try to keep things tidy. It's good times. Uh, at last. Bum 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 bum! Alright, so. Now that we've showed you the basics of this game, and if you're not already interested, then what is wrong with you? This game's amazing. But I will show you that it does get more difficult than that. So we're going to go over here to our file here. We're going to load our memory card file, which is right here. Second year, 11th stage, 13 hours, 6 minutes. Load it up. Press X. Back out. Here we are. You can see I'm in the second year, I'm missing five of the EX tanks, I can change my mosquito color, we'll go with orange, um, or no, what was it, was it yellow was the basic? I don't know, let's, 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 let's go blue, let's go blue, alright, so, you can see here my item recovery rate of things that I have not gotten yet. Uh, you can see here I'm on stage 2-11. Enjoy your battle. Enjoy there are 12 it. stages in all, uh, if my memory serves correctly. Um, so yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you want to get all the EX tanks in all the stages, and I am not quite there. I've got 10 health now. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually try to complete 2-11. Kenichi has been waiting for you. Yeah, he, uh... He is like a lone soldier. He's not happy with me. I have perhaps sucked his blood one too many times. And yeah, you can see he's not... He's not pleased. So he's gonna want to fight. And so we're probably gonna get into some combat here. And you can see how that will... That will look. And then we'll end the video. And then hopefully you will go on eBay and pick up a, co a copy of this game. Because it's fucking amazing. This, this is a game that will have a permanent place in my collection forever, because it is just that cool. But it's a game that not a lot of people I've actually heard of, because it came out at a time when, you know, there was just a lot of PS2 games. And it's hard to keep up with all the PS2 games, because there were so many of them. So a lot of them kind of fell through the cracks and just, you know, didn't sell too well, or, you know, whatever. You defeated the Kaneo and the Rena. Certainly did. You are mine now. You are mine now. He's not happy. He 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 wants to fight. See? I gotta make him faint and then suck his blood. Which is why I have not gotten through this stage yet, because he is not happy! Oh god! Fuck out of here! Oh shit! You are mine now. Oh, does he fucking shoot like he does like fucking Ryu fireballs and shit at you. It's fucking crazy. Relax. Relax, motherfucker. So, alright. There are two more relax points. Don't hit me with- yeah, so... You can't hit the floor, you can't hit the walls. It gets difficult. It's hard to see a lot of the time, which is why it's like, yeah, see, some of his stuff will just... Fuck! Turn, 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 turn! Turn! There! Why didn't that work? There it goes. So now he should be relaxed, maybe? Nope. You are mine. I'm not good at 
avoiding his KGB illusion. And I don't know where his other relaxed points are. There, alright. Don't turn around, I swear to god. Alright. Attack the faint point. I don't know where that is. We're gonna hope I can get to the Nope. He's gonna kill me. The KGB illusion is... I'm not sure that's what he's actually saying, but I don't know what the faint point is. He's not happy that I am here in his house. I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm dead. No, actually, I, I, I didn't die. Now I'm dead. So, as you can see, as you can see, uh, the game does get way more difficult, which is why I spent 13 hours on it and didn't actually finish the second year. Although the second year isn't required to get, you know, an ending, because obviously you finish it the first year, get all the EX tanks and get an ending, and it's fine. But I would like to at some point perhaps get some practice in and finish the second year, but it just gets so cheap. Like, I don't know how to avoid things like his, like, K Kamehameha waves and whatnot. It's kind of crazy. So, be that as it may, uh, if I can actually dump out of here. You defeated the Kaneo and the Rena. But you can't skip the cutscenes for some weird reason. Don't know why. But you are mine now. He's not happy with me. So, bum 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 bum. Can I actually just dump out of this, or am I actually gonna be stuck here? Pause. Exit. Yes. All right. So yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know that there's that much else to cover in this game. You've got, you know, you can get new records for the stages that you want to get. You can get all the extra stuff. You know, you can see how I've done the item recovery and that kind of stuff. I mean, it's not that much here to play, but what is here is kind of amazing. And the fact that I spent 13 hours on it uh, is a testament to how awesome the game is. So I can recommend to you wholeheartedly, you should be playing Mr. Mosquito on the PS2 if you already haven't, because the game is Amazing. So that's going to do it for me here, Attack Slug. This has been You Should Be Playing, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.